In this video, we're going to learn a method of constructing parallel lines that uses the very basic construction of copying angles. Okay, um, So we're going to piece together some information we know about parallel lines uh, to, to figure out how to do this. Okay, And so here is the important piece of information that we need to use. So we had a conjecture um, that dealt with uh, parallel lines and all of the uh, angles that are formed when they are cut by a transversal and we had a converse of a conjecture that said if I had corresponding angles that were congruent that I knew that those two lines had to be parallel to each other. So I'm going to use this fact in sort of this picture um, to kind of uh, mimic it here in my constructions to create my parallel lines. So you might notice that something is missing from our picture mainly a transversal. So in order for this to work, I have to draw in a transversal. And I just can't draw in any random transversal. See, my transversal specifically has to go through point A. So just draw any old transversal. This is uh, up to you where you draw it. Um, so I'm just going to choose a nice little angle and shrunk. Draw my transversal. Chunk, chunk, chunk. Okay, so now this is the angle right here that I need to replicate up here, right? So that requires me to remember how to copy an angle. And so um, I have to put my compass point on the vertex and I need to swing an arc that intersects both sides of the angle. And I need to do something similar up here. So I put my compass point at A and I swing an arc that's going to be long enough to uh, intersect another arc that I got to draw. All right, so I need to measure the distance between these intersection points because that is the distance I want to replicate up where that point A is. So I have to adjust my compass. And remember, when you adjust your compass, double check, do a little swing there to make sure that you actually intersect at the right point, right? And so I need to replicate that by going to this intersection point, right? And swing a little arcy there. And then, oh look, I have a second point. I of course need two points to draw a line. And when I draw that line in, I will have my parallel. Rink. All right. Now, the construction marks kind of look like congruent angle markings already. Um, so I have those angles congruent, which means that these lines are parallel. Now, there are, there are more uh, ways to construct parallel lines, um, quite a few. Uh, there's one kind of cool one that uses uh, a rhombus. And uh, I'm not going to show you that. We're going to see if you can figure that one out a little bit later.